we Muslims, we Muslims have been told about this man who is called Dajjal, a Dajjal, by our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam more than any other religion in the entire world. You know, every Prophet that came to this world, Prophet Isa alayhi salam, Prophet Musa alayhi salam, Ibrahim alayhi salam, all of the Prophets, they all spoke something about the Dajjal. But our Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi who is the last Prophet, he spoke about a Dajjal more in detail than any other Prophet that has ever spoken about him. Because we, he is the last messenger and there is no other messenger or Prophet after him. And he spoke about him in so much detail because the time for him to arise and walk on earth and do what he's going to do is very close. It is very close. Let's begin by saying what the Dajjal, that word means. The word Dajjal. What is Dajjal? In English, D-A-J-J-A-L. I think that's how it is on, it's going to be on Netflix or whatever. Dajjal is an Arabic word meaning, you know how you have someone who lies? You've got a liar, a liar, someone who says something that's not true, right? And it's something worse than just lying. It's when you mix truth with false and you say it and show it in a way that anyone who hears about it or looks at it, they believe it and it's so hard to disprove it, to say it's not true. Because it's mixed with truth and false. So, you know, if I want to make up a story and I made it all a lie, sooner or later, you're going to find out that it was just a lie because there's nothing truth about it. And it's not going to make much sense because it doesn't, follow, it doesn't, doesn't it won't make sense. But if I put some truth in it and some names that are true, it's going to be much harder for people to find out that I'm lying about it because they're going to find out, hold on a minute, he was true about this, then that means he must be true about that. You understand what I'm saying? There is a word for it today in the 21st century and it's called deception. Dajjal means the closest word I know of in English is deception. You know, when you watch stuff on Hollywood, any movie, that's what they do a lot of the times. If you have ever listened to music, and we all, we all hear music when we go to the shops or we, wherever we go, music is playing. You know, not, let's not lie to ourselves. Music is everywhere, isn't it? Isn't it? You go to school, there's music. What can you do? But in the music, there's also words and lyrics. All right. And things that the artists, the musicians do on stage and say, that also is called deception. So what do they do? They show you things and sing things that sound nice, which makes it easier for you to believe because you get moved, right? You start moving to the beats. Isn't that correct? And everybody else listens to it. And then you think, man, I'm going to be left out. I better listen to this stuff. I better watch it. Yeah. And you think it's cool and it sounds nice, you know, because it's the shaitan's um, voice. So it sounds nice. It really moves you. And what happens in there is that they take the opportunity to make you believe things that you're not supposed to believe. Now, I know we're in the masjid. I don't like giving these examples, but I see a lot of young people. And what I think is that we shouldn't hide talking about things that young people now see and hear. I'm a teacher and I talk to my students all the time. And I see some of the, like my parents and their generation, there's things they just won't talk about. But what I see is that we have to talk about them because the young people are already there. 
you guys are already seeing stuff that we think, oh, my kids don't see it, they don't hear it, I better not talk about it, it's called taboo. No, 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 no. I think we have to talk about it. We have to address it. And I'm not one of those per people who's going to hide from it. I always talk and I'm blunt with it because I believe that this is what we need. And I've seen a lot of brothers who's got, who've got children, they don't talk to their children about things that you're supposed to talk about that's happening in this world, right? And the next minute when their children go, they go lost, the parents come to me and say, please help my children. And I say, well, we should have talked about this, you know, before. And we've got to talk about these things. So that's why I'm bringing up music and I'm bringing up these Hollywood movies and all that stuff. So you know, in the music industry, I won't say names of musicians, but for example, there was this musician and the likes of her and him a lot. She stood up on stage and then what she did was she kissed another music musician, another woman. She's a woman and kissed another woman on her lips on stage. All right. And that was only a few years back. And everybody goes, what? This is disgusting. This shouldn't be done. But what she said was, she goes, we musicians, we have a role to play. I'm sick and tired. This is what she said. I want you to listen carefully. I'm sick and tired of people following rules and order. Following rules and order. Correct? And I want people to go out of these rules and orders and do what they want to do. So I'm going to promote this relationship of woman with woman. Right? And as time went on, it became normal. Isn't that correct? Normal. There's lots of things now that if you went 15 years back, they were so abnormal. Am I right? Now... They're normal. I told you I'm a teacher. <coughs> Students now, Muslims, Muslims, she's wearing the hijab, the brother goes and prays, everything. But they have boyfriends and girlfriends. And they think, what's the big deal? It's normal. Do you know, do you know friends like that? Boyfriend, girlfriend, they say it's normal. I got my little brother, okay, when I used to pick him up, when it was a long time ago, I'm talking 20, 25 years ago. I used to pick him, up, pick him up from kindergarten. Do you have kindergarten here? Kindergarten? It's the school you go to before you go to prep. Do you have prep? Show us some kindergarten here in the UK. Nursery. nursery. Okay, nursery. Good. So he was only four years old. He used to go to the nursery. And I used to go and pick him up on my bike. I used to dink him, put him on the... Do you have that word dink? <laughs> I'm from Australia, guys, so correct me. I'm trying to say... So I used to put him on the bike and take him home. So one day I pick him up, he's only four years old, and he says to me, wait, 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 where are you going? He goes, I'm looking for Jessica. Go, Who's Jessica? You know? He goes, gets Jessica, she comes up to him, and he hugs her and carries her up. But the way he carried her was not, not, not normal. And he kissed her right on the lips. I said to him, I smacked him on the head and said, come over here, what's wrong with you? You don't go kiss a girl like that. And he said to me, she's my girlfriend. I said, do you know what girlfriend means? He goes, yeah, like today the teacher got us and all the students, they sat there and then they said, okay, today we're going to make each boy have a girlfriend. So your girlfriend um, to my brother is Jessica and your girlfriend is so-and-so. Do you know what I'm trying to say? I'm trying to say that there are things long time ago were not normal. And then somehow people say things and in the minds of young people as you grow up, you start to believe that they're actually very, very normal. Did you know that? In Norway, there's an article that I read that there are people protesting. They're going to the government to say if they can marry their pets. Wallahi. And there are other people in Texas, in America and other places, they are saying to legalize something called pedophilia with children. And there are others who are saying we want to legalize incest. Brothers and sisters marrying each other. Brothers, do you know what I'm trying to tell you here? I'm trying to talk to you about the Dajjal. But before I talk about the Dajjal, did you know that things are going to happen before the Dajjal comes? You see, deception deception which is to mix truth with lies and make people believe it and make it so hard to disbelieve it that doesn't happen overnight listen to this hadith of the prophet first let me just share with you this hadith 
1,400 years ago, the Prophet, peace be upon him, said, The Dajjal, from the time of Adam, Adam alayhi salam, till the end of time, from the time of Adam, till the end of time, this entire world, he said, there is no bigger trial, fitna, than the trial of Dajjal. Are you tired of all these annoying ads on YouTube? Are you worried that a haram video might pop up? Well, the One Islam TV app is here to solve these problems, inshallah. The One Islam TV app is 100% free of any ads and is safe to browse for your peace of mind. Watch or listen to lectures and lessons while you work, rest or drive with your device switched off. Watch videos on demand or download videos and watch offline. Watch hundreds of high quality produced Islamic reminders, Quran learning videos, stories of the prophets and so much more. Two to four new videos uploaded daily, inshallah. One Islam TV is 100% run and owned by Muslims, which means a small amount you pay for your subscription is a sadaqa jariya, continuous charity for you as we use the funds raised to continue producing more beneficial videos and reminders, inshallah. The One Islam TV app is now available on Apple devices, Apple TV, Android devices, Android TV, Amazon Fire TV, and Roku. So you can watch on most devices and smart TVs. Download now for a free 7-day trial. May Allah reward you for supporting our work.